So hello and yes, welcome back to another video guys. Now that's right, today I am unboxing the Star Wars The Last Jedi Target exclusive? Does it say on the front? I've forgotten what it is. Only at, and then it's got a circle. I can't remember whether this is Target or not guys, I apologise. But I'll make sure it's in the title so you guys know what it is. Um, so yeah, this has come all the way from America. Why am I buying it? Um, basically because I got this version of Rogue One last year, which was exclusive to the same place because it's got the circle logo. Does this tell me? This one doesn't say either. Fantastic. Um, <laughs> and the Last Jedi pretty much matches that really nice. I love the design of these. Um, and yeah. I'm such a big Star Wars fan, I really wanted to have the best copy. And um, whilst I did I did buy um, the UK one where I've done an unboxing of that, if you're interested, um, I really wanted to get this version as well. So yeah, I had to get this all the way from America. Luckily, I have a fantastic friend out there. Um, he is here on YouTube. I'll do I'll promote his channel. Vinyl Collector James, um, fantastic guy here. Um, he's a record guy. He does a lot of cool record videos like I do on my other channel, Rockboy680. Um going to quickly hold this up as well. This is one of the other things which he sent me. Um, so it's a Porg um, vinyl. Um, so it's really cool. You just put, your, put it on your turntable down and the needle goes around his belly. Um, so that's awesome. Um, but yeah, if you want to see me talk about that more and all the other Record Store Day items, because you'll see it's a Record Store Day item and I got a few items from Record Store Day. Um, if you head over to my other channel, Rockboy680, you will find it all there. <laughs> um, but yeah, before... But other than that, we're here to talk about this. Um, yeah, I really wish I knew where this was from. What shop? Anyway, I'm clever. Um, so I, I didn't do my research. Probably says somewhere on here, but anyway. Um, <laughs> I say, it was saying the title anyway, so it don't matter. Um, but anyway, let's crack this open, because I'm really excited to see how this is laid out, because the packaging of these are, of this is awesome. I knew that it was going to be similar to that. I think I even saw some photos, but... So long ago now, because I ordered this well over a month ago. Um, so yeah, I can't remember really what the inside looks like. I know you get a book as well with this one. Let's have a look. It's coming up. There we go. It's a bit of creasing on one of the spines. Luckily, it's not the spine that's going to face outwards, so it doesn't bother me too much. Let's have a look. Come on. There we go. Alright, so that's off. Here we go. Um, so yeah, you can see the creasing on the inside spine there, which is a bit annoying. But as I say, this is the spine that will be facing outwards, so it's no biggie. Um, this is just like the Rogue One. It's held on with literally the smallest bit of tape ever. Um, but anyway, same cover as the UK. Absolutely love it. The back cover is awesome. Oh, this slides off. I see. That is amazing. BB-8 looks evil. Um, so yeah, there it is. There's the back. There's all the information if you want to read it. Just leave that up there for you to pause if you're interested. Same back cover as the UK one as well. Um, yeah, so this just slides off. This is quite a thick card, which is nice. Um, and the inside is this awesome picture of Ray, Daisy Ridley. And then flip it, we got Adam Driver as Kylo Ren, who absolutely stole the show. Fantastic. Open it up again, we've got uh, Carrie Fisher as Leia, R.I.P. Mark Hamill as Luke. And then, some other pictures behind? I think there is. I do believe there is. So anyway, let's take the discs off. So, what is this? This is your standard Blu-ray. And then we've got the director's commentary disc here. Bonus stuff. Ryan Johnson with C-3PO. Um, yeah, I think Ryan Johnson done a good feel. I did a good... A Done a good job on the film. I know some people massively disagree, but um, and of course we got Poe Dameron there, performed by Oscar Isaacs. Pop that one's back in. And then the second one, we've got DVD of the film, which is nice because the UK one did not come with the DVD. And I've dropped it on the floor. Um, and I know that these these ones play here. And then, of course, we get exclusive bonus content on the DVD. Hope that's different to the Blu-ray one. What's the point of doing that twice? And then we've got Finn there, performed by John Boyega. 
It's weird, I couldn't re I was thinking, who's who's left for the last picture? Should have remembered really that it was Finn, but so that pops back in. Right, there we go, they're in. Um <laughs> then behind layer is where the book slides out, so get a download code as well, which is nice. Um, in fact, you know what, I'll hold that up, I'll show that. Whoever wants it, here you go. There's a download for Star Wars The Last Jedi. I don't need it. And wow, the book is awesome. It's really thick. So you've got this amazing picture on the cover of Daisy Ridley. And then a, a, an amazing picture of Adam Driver as Kylo Ren on the back. That's crazy. So it opens up and wow, this is a really thick card. And just oh, beautiful pictures of Daisy Ridley on the island here. I think that's one, of, you know, they've got so many cool shots of her on that island. Um, then Ryan Johnson there, a bit about him. Oh, and then here we go, we've got loads of artwork towards Ray. I have got the art of The Last Jedi, and I don't remember seeing these pictures, so I'm pretty sure these are exclusive to it. I think it said some of these are exclusive anyway. Um, so there's Luke. Here's Leia. Not that they could have done much with her, really. You know, she, she didn't have. She only had one outfit on throughout the whole film, nearly. Poe, Finn. This one's cool because you could see his his little life suit there that kept him alive from his wounds in at the end of the Force Awakens. Um, so this is split. This is between Admiral Holdo and DJ. Bit of a wasted character, DJ. I really hope they bring him back because I kind of liked him. Kylo, again, this this guy just stole the show in the film. Adam Driver should be getting awards. Snoke, really loved what they've done with Snoke in this film. Phasma, can't lie, Phasma was pretty wasted. Um, and then we got some pictures from Canto Bight. I know people weren't a big fan of Canto Bight. I can't lie, I wasn't the biggest fan of it either. Um, it was alright, but the music was great. Um, Crate, I really loved Crate. Awesome looking planet. Some, some of the best scenes in the whole film take place there. Pretty sure that's in the book art of The Last Jedi. Another awesome one from the islands. The pictures from the islands. Fantastic. Little collage there. This is really cool. Really cool. This is fantastic, this book. It's just super glossy as well. It's made out of a really good card. Not cheaply made. Oh, oh, and that is it. That is it for um, the Last Jedi of Target, Best Buy, one of them exclusives. Um, so yeah, I've got quite a few Last Jedi items now. I've got the the book. I've got two versions of the Blu-ray. I've got the soundtrack. I've got a pork. Maybe I should do a Last Jedi collection video. Would you guys be interested? Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. As always, it's a pleasure. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave a message, and I will see you guys next time for another video.